24 kilometers from Kisi town, there is a small village known as Nyachenge town. A small roadside town at the junction to Tabaka village, the heart of the soapstone industry. The countryside glows green in light of bright sun. It picks up from her green quilts into the springtime blue white heaven. The ambience is tree, wind, and bird song together in one sensory palette. In this expanse of green, there are more hues than anyone has ever named. Yet here, they are for any eye to see. The land rolls as it always has, as if it feels that time and space are one thing, that it rolls through the ages as much as to the horizon. Over it is laid a path, one that branches through the open landscape. And as I begin to talk, there is a friction of joy for all the choices to come, each one of them laden with discoveries. Hiding away from our cameras, the children of Tabaka play blissfully, awaiting for their parents to come back with at least something. And not so far away, I meet Kefa, casually carving a small dog as he walks home. A cat? No, 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 no. Dog, please let me see. Can you show me? Talk while you carving it. Yes, this one is me that I made it from the start. I have another one, a complete one from the pocket. Can I show you? Can you please pull it for me so that I can see? How much does this, does this go for? 20 shillings, Kenyan shillings. For how long have you been doing this work? For over 20 years. Does this work feed you? Yes. Kazi kwaji. Ah. It is carvings like those of Kefa that make it on the display in shops like this, are waiting for buyers to come and sell them off. With a rich sense of style, each stone here, carefully shaped in a unique way, as to resemble an animal, tool, or a person. This one, this one is a wild map and it costs 200 shillings. And as we moved around, we saw a wide array of activities. Women washing and sandpapering, polishing and sand drying awaiting for decoration of the precious stones. And these are the polished products awaiting for the decoration, putting color to emphasize on the beauty of the carvings. As we walked around, we had seen a wide array of activities. We were asked not to film due to policy. Hey, don't film, don't film. You're not allowed. It was time for us to leave, but we had questions about this trade. So we set up an interview with a curio dealer. Away from the center 
of Tabaka. Driving by, you could see the quarry from where the stones are mined, leaving behind a trail of nature's destruction. And around 700 hours East African time, we set up for our journey to go and interview the said curio dealer. It was quite some distance, so we had to walk. We trudged along the road with the green scenery reflecting on the land of the blessed Kisi people. In the region of Nyanza, here is a curious shop where black gold is mined, processed and put on the table. The main market being the visitors. This is a curious shop, full of soap stores. December 2021, I'm here at the Kisi region in the Nyanza, Nyanza region to interview a curious dealer in soap stores. And we are at Kismat Curio Shop at Nyabigege Shopping Center. And we are with uh, this wonderful curio uh, attendant to interview him about curio. So let's find out more about you. Hello. Yes, hello. Hey, what's your name? My name is Lamishael uh, Onyego. I'm a resident here at Nyabigege, which is found at Tabaka Wards, Guja uh, uh, South Sub County, uh, Kisi County. Yes. And I'm very curious, uh, and I passed through the roads and I found that you are dealing in soapstone. And uh, a lot of people are dealing with soapstone. Can you tell us more, why did you venture into soapstone? Okay, in any business, uh, the first thing we consider is raw material. You know, soapstone, I think, uh, all over the world, this is where we found these stones. This is where you can find these stones. So, the, the, the reason to why I think in this uh, soapstone is because they have a bit of low materials and another reason is that this is the only place where you can find substance all over the world so people we do receive different people from all over the world to come and see this unique stone which is found in our place here okay yes that's so nice of it and uh, when dealing with substance what are like what what are some of the challenges that you that you encounter when uh, doing this uh, as a business Yes, uh, there are many challenges. One is that, uh, you know, substone, it, it involves uh, many processes, much processes, starting from the quality where people extract these stones from, uh, carving them all the way to the finished product like the ones you are seeing here. So, majorly, uh, the machines, uh, it's hand, handmade, you don't use machines, so uh, when uh, majorly, most okay, majorly when the rain season, during rain seasons, uh, qualis collapse, and when when qualis collapse, then uh, you can just imagine like recently we lost a man the quality. So when qual when the quality collapse and they find people inside there, so people die. So those are the challenges because we don't have machines which help us to extract stones from the quality. So we use everything it's earned. So one of the challenges is that uh, it's hard for us to extract stones from the quality to make them available for carving. Okay. Yes, another challenge is that um, uh, is marketing. Marketing because we don't have a ready market. So sometimes we, we, we cover our staff, then we just display them here, we think for a customer to come and see what we have. And uh, sometimes, yes, we can get, uh, we can get a international market, but it's hard because we have to be connected. Okay. Yes. And how, how would you advise somebody who would want to venture into this uh, curio business? Yes, uh, actually, with Kilo, like any other business, yeah, we have to take risk. <laughs> In business, we have to take risk. So, I can say that, uh, first of all, uh, you must love what you want to start doing. You don't do it uh, because maybe you have seen someone doing it. You don't, like it. you don't do it because maybe you heard that somebody made it out of it. It's out of person. And if you are doing anything out of person, uh, the fruits, they just come, you see? 
So it's a good business, yes. It's a good business, but it need, it needs to be connect. It, it needs a networking and a good connection, both locally and uh, globally. Okay. And uh, owing to seeing that many people are in this business, I've seen a lot of shops like mm -hmm. these ones around. Do you think this is the how how will you? How would you say it has impacted the community around the soapstone being found only mm -hmm. in this South Mugirango ward uh, constituency? How how do you think it has uh, it has impacted the community around? Yes, well, uh, uh, to start with that, uh, no, like me, uh, like me. Okay, as I said, soapstone uh, it involved many people. We are the people who own the quality. Then we are the people who. The quality owners pay other people to extract stones in order to sell to covers. Then covers the carve products, then they sell to the middlemen. Then now here the middlemen, as is the one who involves many people because he, he and the middlemen, uh, he also has to have lady who was or sand the item in order to make the smooth, lady to be painted or polished. Then we have people who who decorate, who paint and decorate. We have people who polish, we have people who who pack, you know, and we have people who maybe help like selling and marketing. So all these people as you can as you can see, one or the other, they benefit, they are benefiting out of this uh, substance. So I can say that since is the since is the is the is what we have at this region, eh? as you know. Uh, here we don't uh, we don't uh, grow tea. We don't okay. We don't have any cash crop here. So it's like this is our thing. This 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 is the thing we are doing here. So it's like since it's the only thing we are we have here. So many people have benefited out of it. As I say, not one because it started from the quality right to the person who who, who is doing marketing and networking. So in one or the other people, it has, it has impacted people because uh, out of this, many people are having the living around here. Yeah. And uh, if, if the government was listening to you, uh, how would you, what advice would you give them in terms of marketing? Because not so many clients know of Curio and uh, it has not been marketed more so by the Kisi government because this is where Curio is being... Uh, mined and uh, furnished and polished until it becomes a finished product. Mm -hmm. Like what would you tell the county government of Kisi to look for? Well, I think uh, the, the, the only thing uh, we can ask from the, our county government of Kisi is to empower us. Eh? You know, as I said, uh, uh, everything is handmade. But there, but, but there are some things which you can use machine like now if you can get uh, extra vectors to extract stones from uh, ground, that would be easier for us. Other thing is to help us find a market, being marketing outside outside Kenya or, or, or outside Kisi. So if, uh, if our county government can help us to get a global market, then that will be so nice for us, it will be so beneficial to us because uh, then we will be able to expand our business and then many people will benefit out of it because now the market is globally. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And right before we left, we were given a rare opportunity to visit the factory where all the magic happens.
In this belief, I filmed one of the most spectacular processes witnessed in carving and just how a lot of concentration, skill and professionality is required to make a finished product. With simple and sophisticated tools, they craft rare forms of beautiful stone, which takes a lot of time and effort to carve. With the Corona lockdown, we pray God to cater for our daily needs. If it was not Corona, tourists would be all over here. What is missing is the tourists. The pandemic has limited traveling, but we pray God to help the world. So, so as even us can benefit. To move forward, this is what we depend on. The pandemic has limited traveling, but we pray God to help the world, so as even us can benefit to move forward. This is what we depend on. Like this carving, it can vary. I get paid 10,000 shillings, Kenyan, but that is for myself. But if contracted by a company, I get 50,000 to 100,000 Kenyan shillings. To transport, carve and plan is a lot of work. The company helps us a lot. Without the company, we don't get much help. It is of importance because even if the company doesn't give me money, it will educate my children and businesses goes on. So I request businesses to go on. Kisak factory. Kisak factory. Oh, Kisak. Okay. Yapa ni kambuni. Ah. So tunaenda vile kambuni na tupeleke. Kisak factory factory. Ah, we We go as the company says. Okay. We cannot go any other way. If it doesn't help me, it will help my future generations. Ah. And so it was time for us to leave. With them dropping the tools, having sweated to produce a fine piece of art. We filmed one last time the piece of art we had just witnessed. Tired, we left them to their work, having witnessed the most exciting processes of art with a promise to return. One last plea to the Kisi County government. This government, Nambia, Kauai, Sopto, Ipongese, Ngufu, Diotuendele. Sasa, nile wasifungie wa rai, wasungu wasifungie, wakiwajilia wakiingia kwa industry sote, kila mwana inji atakuwa nafali. It was evening and we called it a day.